Hey everyone, Anthony here with Duke City Aquariums and today I'm going to show you how to set up a DIY CO2 system for your planet aquarium, so stick around. Alrighty, so like I said, I'm going to show you how to set up a DIY CO2 system and I'm, I'm actually running one of those uh, right now on my Nano Beta Aquascape Aquarium. I'll leave a link to uh, that video up in the little iCard here. I did a full video on that entire tank not just the CO2, but kind of all the plants and everything like that. So you can go check it out if you want to. But anyway, as for today, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what CO2 did to affect the plant growth in that aquarium. It's I've had, I trim it all the time. Um, plants are just growing out of control. Actually, it's actually due for a trim now. So that video will be coming out within the next uh, week or so of me doing a little trim on that aquarium. But anyway, as for today, let's go ahead and um, let's go and switch camera angles here and I'm gonna lay everything out for the CO2 system itself to show you exactly how to set it up and what to do. So let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. I have everything laid out and I don't want this to confuse you. Even though it looks like a lot, we're gonna break it down and go over each part one by one. I did get everything here on Amazon. So if you buy the same things, we can you can follow along with me with exactly what you bought. So now let's go over the parts. The first thing that you need is two empty two liter bottles. These are just old Sprite bottles. All right, next we have citric acid and baking soda. I picked these both up on Amazon and the amount of CO2 that I used, they last me like six months. All right, next is the actual CO2 regulator itself. And like I said, if you get the same one through the link below, you can follow along with me because they're going to be the exact same. Next up is the drop checker. It comes with the drop checker and the bottle of drop checker solution. I also added a small syringe so I can measure out two milliliters of water. Next, I have the bubble counter. This is gonna let us know exactly how much CO2 is being pumped into your aquarium. And we also have the CO2 diffuser itself. I already attached a piece of airline tubing to it, so I don't have to do it later. And last, we have a measuring cup and a funnel. Any one will work. All right, so let's go ahead and add our baking soda and citric acid to our bottles. The measurement for both of these is 0.9 cups. I know it sounds a little weird, but that's just what it came out to. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, so just about this much amount will work. So using our funnel, we'll go ahead and pour the baking soda into the first bottle. Go ahead and set that off to the side for now. And we'll do the same thing with our citric acid. And like I said before, the measurement is the same. It's almost one cup. It's about 0.9 cups. So just about this much amount will work. The so same thing with our funnel. We'll just go ahead and use that to pour in the citric acid. Now, once you do fill these bottles up, make sure not to confuse them. So a good idea is actually marking them on the outside. All right, so next let's go ahead and add our water. For the baking soda bottle, the measurement is the same as before, 0.9 cups. Almost one cup, but a little bit less. I have it pre-measured out here. All right, so using our funnel as before, we'll just go ahead and pour the water in, give it a shake, and set it to the side. Now for the citric acid bottle, it's two and a half cups. I have them all pre-measured out before, so we're gonna go ahead and pour them in, give them a shake. And there you go. Next, let's go ahead and add our CO2 regulator itself. Now, the side with the gauge on it has a weight at the bottom of the air hose. Now, this weight will go into the citric acid bottle. This kit does come with a small magnet that's meant to be used on the outside of the bottle to keep that weight at the bottom of the bottle. And the other side we'll go ahead and put into our baking soda bottle. All right, let's go ahead and add our bubble counter. 
As you can see, I've already filled it with water. Now, on the top, on one side, you will see a small black arrow pointing downwards. It's very hard to see on video, but you can see it in person pretty well. This indicates the intake port. Now, what we're going to do there is the hose coming off of our baking soda bottle is going to be connected to that port. So the first thing we have to do is unscrew the small nut on top. And we'll thread our tubing through the nut. Next, we'll go ahead and attach the tubing to the port on top of the bubble counter. And with it nice and snug, we'll go ahead and screw the nut back on. Don't over tighten, but make sure it's nice and snug. It does have a suction cup on the side, and this is meant to be placed on the outside of your aquarium. So next, let's go ahead and add our actual diffuser itself. So like I said before, I already attached the piece of airline tubing to it. Now this side is going to go into the other port on top of the bubble counter. This side does have an arrow pointing up, so you know which side. Same thing as before, we'll go ahead and unscrew the nut and thread it through the tubing on the diffuser. and attach the tubing to the port and thread the nut back on. All right, so that is the completed CO2 system. Now let's go ahead and move on to our drop checker. So for this, I added five drops of drop checker solution and two milliliters of water. Just flip it upside down, fill from the top and carefully flip it back over. Now like this, it's ready to be installed into the aquarium. Now this will come with a color guide and it will let you know if your aquarium has too much CO2, too little CO2 or not enough. Now let's install our CO2 system. The first thing I'm going to do here is use the suction cup on the side of the bubble counter and attach it to the back of the aquarium. Next, I'll install the CO2 diffuser inside the aquarium wherever I want, using the suction cup to hold it in place. Alright, so next comes probably the most important part of this whole setup and that is priming the bottles. What that means is getting enough pressure inside the bottles to actually push out CO2. You'll see here on this gauge that we're at zero pressure right now. So in order to add pressure, we'll loosen up the nut on top of the baking soda bottle and we'll go ahead and squeeze the citric acid bottle into the baking soda bottle. S squeeze it together and then tighten it back up. Let it sit for just a moment. Now it's gonna bubble here and you'll notice that the bottle is already getting a little bit firm. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. We'll loosen it up. We'll squeeze and tighten it back up. Let's go ahead and check our pressure gauge. Now, as you can kind of see here, we've built up a little bit of pressure, but we're not quite there yet. All right, so for the third time, let's go ahead and squeeze in some of the citric acid, tighten it back up, 
And for this time, I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes. So checking back on it 15 minutes later, you'll notice that the gauge is right in the green area. And that's right where we want for optimal pressure. Now tightening or loosening the control valve will allow more or less CO2 to be diffused. The bubble counter lets you know exactly how much CO2 is being pumped into your aquarium. The more open it is, the more bubbles come out. So since this is only a five gallon system, I run it at very little CO2, about one drop every 10 seconds or so. But if you have a larger aquarium and more plants, you might need to dial that up a bit. So there you have it guys. I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And also if you have any questions about anything, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below so I can answer them. Everything that I talked about will be linked in the description down below so you can go check them out if you want to. But anyway, that wraps it up for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Anthony with Duke City Aquariums and we'll catch you in the next one.